Good morning, Daily Planners. This is David Monroe, CCIM, and this is episode 35 of The Daily Planner. So if you remember yesterday, I really, really struggled to get through the episode. I was really tired. I've been burning the candle at both ends. I've really been trying to get this 30-day challenge completed as well as continuing to work my brokerage, brokerage and investment business. So it's been a little rough on me the last few weeks. And believe it or not, I actually was able to finish the day fairly early, I think somewhere around 7 p.m. And I was able to just relax the rest of the evening. And I got to take a couple of hours and just go bleh and do nothing. And I got to tell you, it was nice. So to summarize yesterday, you know, I, I finished the live Facebook video around noon. And, you know, that was one of those things where I thought that was going to take the entire day. So... Uh, I also ended up negotiating on the Pascagoula 4 portfolio, so much so that we actually ended up receiving an official offer on it. And now we're looking at that offer and, and discussing it further for further negotiations. And I had an owner that I've known for about three or four years, has become a good friend of mine. He sent me the financials to his property and we started discussing the value of it. So that took up a good chunk of the day, but that was, you know, that's a good part because we're actually trying to move forward to getting that property on the market in the next two or three months. So the focus for the day on yesterday was creating my story and then publishing it on live video, you know, as well as doing the other things I had to do for the day. But, you know, honestly, I was scared and I just I did not want to air my dirty laundry out in front of the world and you know that was a pretty big challenge and, and I didn't really know if I was going to be able to to do that but then I realized you know if I if I could do that then I would connect with people and and everybody would just kind of understand who I am why I do what I do and, and I just thought I'd be able to build relationships better by getting all that out, let everybody understand me, and hopefully allow me to connect better with them in the future. So my daily big three that I set yesterday was to contact 25 prospects so that I can continue to try and sell the off-market inventory that I have in my pipeline. And, and we can see from kind of the things that I did yesterday uh, negotiating on that Pascagoula 4 portfolio, which has been in my pipeline for a little bit now, that that plan is really actually starting to come to fruition and we're starting to get some traction on some of this inventory. And then I needed to complete the tasks for, ten, for, the, for day 10 of the 30-day challenge. And from my summary earlier, you know that I was able to actually get that done by noon and get that live Facebook uh, video out there to share my story. But it didn't all go rosy as I wanted it to. It wasn't a smooth day because, you know, as days go, you know that something usually pops up and, and go figure what popped up was the Hellebase. And, and for whatever reason, that seems to be the, the challenge of, of the day going throughout the week every single week here lately but I I think we're getting close to having a solution so yesterday as I'm going along I'm doing great I get through the morning morning goes well uh, do my coaching call it goes well and then right after the coaching call as I'm getting ready to start doing some things uh, from the coaching call I get a phone call from my contractor and we have to start talking about you know some of the things he's done over the last couple of weeks and well now he wants money <laughs> so instead of because he lives in Pensacola you know I'm here in Mobile it's an hour drive instead of meeting or something to pay him uh, I always pay my vendors when they want money and instead of doing that uh, he said hey look can you just go to the bank and uh, I'll send you an invoice and you can just deposit the check right in my bank and good the good news is is that his bank and my bank were the same, so it was really easy to do. But I had to stop what I was doing. I had to get the invoice, write the check out, drive to the bank, which is about 20 minutes from the house. And it was in the middle of when school was letting out. Now, there are six 
school districts or six schools between my house and the bank. So I had to go through all those 15 mile an hour zones and all the traffic to get to the bank and I had to come back through them again. So two hours later, I'm able to get back to what I was doing. And, and we were able to, to get through that. But, you know, these things pop up and you just have to put an importance to them. And if they are important and necessary, then do them. If not, push them off and do something else later. But I need my contractor. He's been a huge help for me with this Hellabase project, which has been kind of a cluster lately and we're getting through it because of him. So he was a priority and I made him a priority and took care of him. So I ended up making 11 contact attempts yesterday from the 25 that I had planned. I talked to four decision makers, made one appointment, held one appointment. I didn't have any signed contracts, but we did receive an offer. So we're moving towards a signed contract and that's good. Uh, that would be the first signed contract for this year. And it's a fairly large one, so that would be a good one. And then had no closings. Uh, from earlier, you know, I completed the 30-day challenge and did my Facebook live video by lunchtime. So it actually ended up being a, a pretty good day. And you know what? Pushing through my fear was the best feeling. And I had fun creating that live Facebook post. And then the response from it, I think, is really the key. It had over 150 views, more than 10 likes, and has received something like 12 comments so far just in the last 18 hours. So that tells me that by telling my story and just getting it out there, and really from this point forward, kind of doing everything in story form, I, I don't know if you've noticed, but so far in in this episode i've really just kind of told a story i don't know if you guys caught that or not uh, so i'm going to just everything i do from this point forward is going to be creating story so look for the format moving forward with the daily planner that it does kind of the same thing where i'll tell a story about how yesterday went and as you'll see in a minute we'll go into creating the daily big three for today. So before I create the daily big three for today, we need to do the morning mantra. Create the thoughts that cause motivation to drive the actions that produce results. I want you guys to let that sink in for a second and really understand. Create the thoughts that cause motivation. Take your brain, go inside it, and go into your subconscious mind and actually try to start just thinking about what it's going to do to motivate you for the day. You have to have that motivation to drive you through per pushing through certain things throughout the day. Now some things are going to be easy, but some things are going to be really hard. If you remember yesterday, my daily thought, and I've got to kind of go back here, my daily thought was stories sell, not the product or service. And I needed that to push me through telling that story yesterday. So every time I'd start to waver a little bit, I would just go back to that morning mantra. So that will drive your actions to produce those results. And that's why I do this every day and why it's so important that we do it. So what are my daily thoughts for today? Well, for today, again, dealing with the the 30 day challenge and really continuing on the story theme is hooks are my content. And today we have to go and we actually have to dig out the hooks from stories that we create to be able to capture someone's attention so that they listen to our story, <clears throat> excuse me, so that they listen to our story. So today I have to go in and I have to find all the hooks from the story I created yesterday that I did the live Facebook post on. And to get me through that, because that's going to be challenging, then my thought today is hooks are going to create my content because from that point forward, as I do my Facebook lives, I can then use those hooks to do a Facebook live for each one of those and those can become my content. And later on, if I decide to sell something or I want to 
get a lot of eyeballs on something and I want to run an ad or something like that, either on Facebook or Google or YouTube or LinkedIn, then I can use these hooks to use in my ads. And, and that's the reason for my morning mantra. So now let's set the daily big three for today. So like yesterday, I will attempt to contact 25 prospects to try and sell my current off-market inventory and find new opportunities. I've been doing a really good job lately of really digging out some new opportunities and new opportunities that I'm finding, these folks generally or these investors are also the same people that are looking for other investments. If they sell an investment, they want to be able to take that money and put it into another investment so they don't have to pay a tax on it. In the investing world, we call that a 1031 tax deferred exchange. They still have to pay the tax on it, but it's deferred into the future for an indefinite amount of time for when they finally do sell a property and take those proceeds. But if they take the proceeds from their sale now, move it into the next property without touching it, they don't have to pay the tax on it. So they're the ones that I'm actually finding for my current off-market inventory and adding their current property to my inventory. So it's kind of double dipping, but it's been really good and really exciting since the first of the year. The second daily big three is to complete the action steps for day 11 of the 30 day challenge. This is a big one today. It's so big that there are no more challenges the rest of this week. So from Thursday through Sunday, they give us that amount of time to go in and create our hooks for all the stories that we've created up to this point. There's been, well, and we've only created the one story, but now we have to go in and not only create the hooks, but we also have to create the stories for other offers that we've been working on. So I've got like five offers or five stories that I have to create for different parts of an offer and then find the hooks at least five to seven for each one of those stories. So that can take a while. So that is going to become my focus other than working on brokerage and investment for the next four days moving forward. And then of course, as always on Sunday, I'll, I'll publish my blog post, but we'll get to that when we get to Sunday. Then on top of that, I set a daily big three today and, and this, is, this is a big task, but it's really important that I get this done. You know, a lot of you guys know that I'm a CCIM, thus the title David Monroe CCIM. And as a CCIM, one of my goals with the organization is to become an instructor uh, for the CCIM Institute, which is a really big deal and really hard to do. Uh, I mentioned this in a, a previous blog, podcast post. And I've got an interview coming up in March, on March 30th, in front of a panel where I have to give a 10-minute class. Well, part of that is picking which core course. We have four core courses. I had to pick which core course I wanted to complete or, or I wanted to teach and then select a subject from that course and that's what I'll teach on for that 10 minutes. But they want to make sure that I actually understand that core course, even though I've passed the course before and even though I've passed a final exam on all four core courses in order to get my certification, they still want me to go through that course again, the updated version, because the last time I took it was 2014. So they want me to do the updated version, go through the entire course, and then take the final exam from that one core course. That's an eight module course and it's about 20 hours of content. So today I have on my daily big three to complete three modules of that course. That's gonna be a big task and it'll be really interesting to see if I can get that done. I'm gonna push through and try to do that. It may mean it's gonna be, it may be that I end up having a late night tonight, but since I relaxed last night and I feel really good today, I hope you can hear it in my voice. That, uh, that I'll be able to push through and do that. So that's my daily big three. If you would, just go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know what your daily big three is. Tell us how you did yesterday. If you do that, then we can hold each other accountable 
for completing our action steps every day and for our weekly goals, our quarterly goals, and our annual goals. And that's the whole purpose of this podcast is being able to hold each other accountable. And and I've said this before and I'm going to continue to say it. I had a terrible year last year trying to complete my goals. And so this year, the whole reason for the podcast was to hold myself accountable to all of you. So I hope you're really finding value in all this. Also, let me know in your comments if my story form worked for you today, if it's been better. I've had kind of three different modes of how I'm going to do the podcast moving forward. I'm I'm trying to find my voice and what's going to work. And what will really help me with that is feedback from you and letting me know what you're seeing is working. So if you would, please do that. Leave a comment below and let me know you know, which, which format you're liking better so far. That said, you guys have a great day. Today is Thursday. Only one more day left in the week. And then it's Super Bowl weekend. I haven't decided whether I'm going to watch the Super Bowl yet or not. I guess we'll see. The Rams are playing. I did used to be a Rams fan, so maybe I'll watch it. Anyway, have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>